Right guys, we are kicking off episode 10 in my career mode with Manchester United with a game against Southampton in the Premier League. We need to get back onto form and from the last episode we didn't do too well. We did get a draw, which I suppose is better than a loss. Uh, but, you know, it's not a very good good uh, start to the season, although we are doing a lot better than in real life. So, you know, not to worry, we are currently third. And we're going to play at Old Trafford to Southampton, against Southampton. And we're going to play against a lovely away kit. I must admit, Southampton's kits are pretty damn awesome. And I'm going to take you through the lineup um, this time. I'm going to sort of change it up a little bit. And we're going to rest to Haya. We're going to we're going to bring on Yanazai on the bench. Kagawa. I want him to have a game. So Rooney's coming off. He'll go onto the bench. Gundogan's going to start. Phil Jones shall start. And I do faff around a hell of a lot with this. As you can see, I'm super quick <laughs> faffing around. I, I like to rotate a lot. So, you know, I like to keep fresh squads. And as you can see, everyone that's not fully fit, fully fresh, they're not going to be starting. But, you know, I do move them to the bench. I mean, obviously, you can't keep Rooney out of a game. You know, he's very important to the squad. And, you know, he can produce them... Like Hernandez, really, can produce some moments which you need you need in game. So he's going to be our saviour if anything bad happens. But apart from that, you know, that, that's the squad, really. Van Persie, Kagawa up front. And, this, you know, the rest of the team is quite similar. Just sort of reserves and subs coming in. And as you can see, the weather of the game is absolutely shit. It's raining. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Not my favourite weather. But, you know, the condition shouldn't affect the performance, really. And as you can see there, we are third. And we're only two points behind City. We've lost one game and drawn one game, winning five, which is not bad. Van Persie still six goals all competitions which is not bad great stuff for him for the season considering we've played around nine games I believe or eight or so and you know from the kickoff not much happens I must admit Southampton are a strong opponent and as you can see they're third now with a shit real bad free kick puts us in a bad position Osvaldo oh, he makes it 1-0 to Southampton that was a terrible start from us Ferdinand there, or Smallen, whoever it was, really made a poor error, and that cost us really badly, you know, 1-0 down, but Kagawa there, brilliant double challenge, uses his pace to get away, and shoots, oh, fucking hell, that was inches away, inches away, but we're pulling it back now, we're, we're getting some momentum going, it's coming up to the 20th minute, and Yanaze here, cuts inside, let one rip, Ooh. Oh, I nearly went for the keeper's legs there. That was a real good shot. Good effort from Yanaze. As you see, that's standard in the background. <laughs> but now Kagawa to Van Persie. Can he be our saviour? Gets past the defender. Shoots and... Oh, what a goal. What a goal. The angle was absolutely terrifying. But he scored it. Mr. Robin Van Persie. Seven goals now all competitions. What a goal. And we're back level in the game. 31st minute. That was a really good goal. I'm impressed with that. I was start, you know, we need to pick up some form, especially in the league. And you know, after the loss in Europe and the draw, you know, we need to we need to get a couple of wins, get the momentum building, because we've got some tough games coming up. And as you can see, there blocked effort. It's sort of gone now, but you know, the blocked effort there from Rooney. A good try and. Kagawa nicks it, Van Persie again, touch, shoots, oh yes, get in there, get in there, 2-1, Van Persie again, now it's his 8th goal of the season, I think I accidentally said it was his 8th goal last episode, when it clearly wasn't, <laughs> but right on half time, brilliant time to strike it, and we are, well we've taken the lead, thanks to Van Persie, 2 Van Persie strikes into that bottom corner again, Lovely jubbly, and as you can see there, half time, and we're 2 1 up now against Southampton. We pulled it back from that horrible mistake. As you can see, Arsenal drew 1 all full time, and I didn't really catch the other results. And again, Van Persie causing all sorts of troubles. And he's really come alight the last couple of games. He's playing really, really well, which is really good because Rooney's playing well, Hernandez is playing well, even Welbeck's playing well. And Van Persie here pulls off. He's got, surely he's got a score. Shoots and get in there. Hat-trick hero, 64th minute. 
and that's his ninth goal of the season, his third goal in this game. Absolutely fantastic, brilliant performance by Van Persie, and surely we've sealed the win in the 64th minute. Surely they can't come back now. And there you go, 90th minute. We are surely going to win this. Some real <laughs> dodgy passing going on, giving the ball away right at the end of this game. I mean, not much happened in the second half really, apart from that goal and a few mistakes. And you know, Southampton starting to push up as you see. A few players there, giving them the throw. They take it quickly. Lambert to Alana to Ramirez. Lambert, first time. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, we conceded again. Thankfully, it's right at the last kick of the game, but Lambert, Ricky Lambert, it's actually a really good goal. I actually watched a replay for that. That was a really good goal by Ricky Lambert. But there you go, guys. We won that game 3 2, thanks to Van Persie, and we've claimed three more points. And hopefully, we are getting very close to the top of the table, and soon we'll be able to leapfrog City. And, you know, that's a, that's a good feeling. Good win. A difficult win. Second half, pretty damn dull. But, we, you know, a couple of goals, and there we go. We move on from that. Now, as you can see, there are a few people coming back from loan. I'm just looking at some people's form. Looking at Gundogan. But I think it's Jesse Lingard and uh, Federico Macheda that come back from loan. So we'll be looking to use them in some of the Capital One Cup games. Uh, Jesse Lingard's going to be played a few games. I want to get him up a few overalls. Three-star week for three-star skill moves. Got a good bit of pace. Very good centre attack and midfielder, very good youngster. One for the future, along with Yanaze, really. So, you know, that's uh, one for the future. And the next match, and the last match of this episode, is against Borussia Dortmund, another home game. And as you can see there, we are facing Darren Fletcher, a former player, as well as Ashley Young, who will feature against us. That's two former United players there. Uh, that's going to be a tough, tough game. Borussia Dortmund are one of the group favourites, along with us. And to be honest, along with Napoli, because Napoli are a great side. They haven't had a good start to their Champions League this season, in this career mode, of course. So, you know, actually, in real life, they haven't really had a good start. They lost to Arsenal, and I, c I can't remember their other result. Maybe they've won one and lost one. But, you know, a few changes again. Rooney's going to start. Uh, I'm going to keep Van Persie on, I think. Gundogan's, Gundogan's going to come on. I want to play Carrick and... No, not Carrick. Uh, Kagawa, Royce and Gundogan. You know, the former Borussia Dortmund trio. And the only way I'm going to do that, keeping Rooney Van Persie on, is playing Kagawa as a left mid. So that's what I choose to do in the end. And I think it pays off, really. During the game, he played really well. But we're going to have to wait and see his, you know, his performance in general. Uh, I'm going to rest a few other players. Zaha, we're going to, we're going to play him the next game possibly in episode 11 but we'll worry about this game for now now we're back in Europe and you know we've had a good start to Europe we have lost a game unfortunately um, but if, you sh if I show the group here we're just going to appear any moment now there you are there you go Borussia Dortmund are top we can actually pull top if we beat be Borussia Dortmund here. We are one point behind Real Sociedad and Borussia Dortmund. You know, we had a real tough game away to Real Sociedad. And we did lose. And I was really pissed off at that. I was disappointed. And as you can tell by the title, a disappointment week. You know, it really sums it up. And here you go. Royce on the break. And brilliant. Brilliant play. Comes out Carrick. First time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a goal. What an absolute beast of a goal. Fucking volley. Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to watch the replays of that. I normally watch the replays anyway, but... Oh, watch this, guys. Watch this. First time by Michael Carrick. Weak foot. And what a cracking goal that was. 1-0 United. And Van Persie pulls away. And another great chance there, but couldn't take advantage of that. I I'm still fucking hyped up from that fucking carrot I'm trying not to shout down the house really because I don't want to be too loud <laughs> there is people in my house and we have neighbours so you know Borussia Dortmund here they have a great chance and Young and what a save there by our keeper and you know to keep our former player that would have been a bit embarrassing if Young would have scored there but what a fantastic volley by Carrick can't believe it Absolutely. So you know we're 
we're sort of half an hour into the game and Borussia Dortmund have put up a real good fight. Apart from our goal, not much has happened. And as you can see here, Borussia Dortmund are really attacking hard. And we, I can't clear the ball, I really can't. Absolutely annoying. And that challenge there, I really thought that was going to be a penalty and a red card. Because if you noticed, I slide tackled him and I didn't touch the ball. And luckily we got away with it. And there we go, guys. 2 0. Fucking Nemanja Vidic, Captain Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant header there. And we are 2 0 up now. Absolutely brilliant. And, you know, against a team that really can do some damage against the real top team. So I'm absolutely pleased over the moon at half time we are 2-0 up really really good good first half there we have nullified Borussia Dortmund's attack although they have had a lot of possession they have been all over us really but they haven't really attacked too much so you know oh, and there's a chance here for Valencia can he finish no that's a penalty surely that's a penalty oh fuck off ref oh that's absolutely ridiculous I suppose that lets me off from that cheeky challenge I've done in the first half so Fair enough, we're 2-0 up, so we can't worry too much. That's a great chance. Oh, fuck. Shit, what a header. Lewandowski there, unmarked, walks into the box and scores a goal. And now we are on edge. It's 2-1, and Borussia Dortmund can catch us up here. And that was a good header, good header from Lewandowski. I'll give him that. But that's pretty much it. We are right at the end of the game. Can Nani do anything? I'm going to switch it to Royce, really. I want to you know, see if he's any good on free kicks. And Royce takes it, and that's not enough power. That is absolutely can. But there you go, guys. We are full time, and we have beaten Borussia Dortmund 2 1. And it takes us to the top of the group stage, unless Real Sociedad have won their game. Uh, we'll find out later on, but that's a good result. We are right at the end of the episode. But before we go, guys, I'm going to show you the Premier League table and all the other tables just to have a recap. Because we are in episode 10, I want to have a recap where we are in the season. So Back far, we have played a few games. I've uh, got a message Barcelona here and, you know, about the performance. We're playing really two. well. And, you know, that's, that's good. We're getting reassured that we're playing well and there's no need to worry at all, which is really good. As you can see, that we are second, uh, two points behind City. So, you know, we're playing really well. Chelsea are two points behind us. We are all on eight games played. Uh, you know, we are doing well. Six wins now, one draw, one loss. We have a seven goal difference. So, you know, I'm not absolutely raping teams, and that proves that right there. I've scored 17 goals, conceded 10. Um, as you can see, we won the Community Shield earlier on in this. You know, that's got to be like one of the first few episodes. Capital One Cup, we're in. We've got to play Everton in the round 16. That'll take us into the quarterfinals. Um, yes, we are now top of the group. Group B in the Champions Cup. Real Sociedad draw their last game and Napoli with only one point after three games that's kind of embarrassing but you know we've had a great start of the season I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until then take care guys